Hello everybody, welcome back to a too long overdue video from Cryptic Woodworks. So since finishing up this little angle bracket jig that I'm going to start using on my CNC, uh, for those of you that might have read my short text description, uh, probably wasn't super clear on exactly how these work and how useful they can be. Uh, so I think I'll just do a short video to show you how I'm going to go ahead and use this. So the purpose of this is for easily um, aligning and repositioning multiple parts for repetitive cutting that are going to happen on the CNC. And what we have is a nice, perfectly square inside. Uh, just a little cut out in the corner that helps to um, not get any dirt or other things trapped in there. And then an alignment hole. And on here I have a little bit of note that tells me that uh, my alignment hole is X minus one and Y minus one. And this will help us when we're setting up the CNC software to tell it exactly where this inside point is. And that's really what we're aiming for. <clears throat> so the way I can use this is to drop my quarter inch bit right into this hole. And then with it dropped in, I can align this nice and square to the top of the table. And then with the control software, I can tell it how to move the position of the bit. So what I'm going to do is head over to my software and move my bit over. Well, that's a little slow. I can speed that up. So I'll first bring the gantry out. I'll drop the bit down. And let me also go ahead and move the camera down for you. You should be able to see this a little bit better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim to put the bit right in this hole. And it doesn't really matter exactly where this is positioned, uh, just so long as I'm kind of close to one of my slots for when I'm clamping. That's about it. So I can fiddle with this a little bit. And there, it's dropped in. Can't move around too much, but I can still pivot and shift it a little bit. So the important part here is to make sure that this piece is square to the front of my table. And this is another important part if your uh, table or your sacrificial uh, fence or uh, top isn't square to your gantry, uh, you should probably run a pass along the top of your uh, sacrificial table to square that up. I know mine's pretty square, so I'm not too worried about that. The easiest way to do this is just grab yourself a straight edge. Pop it on. Bring it up to your gauge or your uh, jig like that and then you can bring one of the clamps in so I will go ahead and feed one of these in from the back or actually I'll do it from the front and obviously you want to try to make sure nothing moves on you you can always double check that later I have to actually make some hold downs to go on this. That will be a later project. So that's good. And then we'll clamp one on the back. Might not be able to see that. It's just another hold down clamp. You're not missing very much. So now I know this is locked in place. Can't move. So I can pick my bit back up. And now, I know that right now I'm positioned to this point, but I want to tell it that I want to work up here. So let me switch over and we'll look at the control software and we'll see how to do that. So I'm using this CNC Shark control software. That's software that comes with mine. Uh, if you're running a CNC, you might have your own software, but they all should have similar capabilities. And I can see right now that my... Um, where my bit is at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell it to set it to X0 and Y0. 
And then I'm just going to go to the set command and I'm going to say that my X is minus 1. And that my Y is minus 1. I can set that. Now, I'll switch back over and look at the CNC. So what I'm going to do now is actually tell the CNC to go to its home position or move to zero, zero, zero. I can see it moved over just a little bit. And if I drop this down, you can see that my bit is actually sitting right at this little point in here. So it's a real easy way of getting back in here and repositioning this. So now if I want to, I can be taking my parts, like this one that I was already cutting or carving out. I can set that in place, throw out a couple of clamps on it, run my software, take the part out, put another one in, rerun the software, and it's always going to be at the exact same position over and over and over again. Very repeatable, very easy way to find your zero zero and move that position. So uh, it's a great little feature, and uh, if you find yourself having to do a lot of repositioning of the bit, wondering where your actual uh, dead-on center point is, uh, especially if you need to do very accurate drilling or carving on a piece, this is a great way to do it. So I hope that helps, and uh, you learned a little bit of something from this. See you next time. Bye.